right, go here, make it better, talk over. Or, or I could tell you that it's a tutorial that fills the gap between the many basic tutorials out there and the advanced documentation. And I started writing the tutorial because I had to add LDAP authentication to an app, and I couldn't find everything in one place. So it's my attempt to teach myself Mojalicious by telling other people how to do it. I'm still working on it because I'm still learning. But I'm, I think it's starting to get to the point of being able to release it out into the public and get your feedback on it. So if you go here, you will see perhaps nine steps, starting with putting a, a login page in your templates directory uh, with a form. You post your form data to um, the router, which sends it to the controller, which checks your credentials. If you succeed, great. We set a session cookie, which is really what the title was all about, and that's the only session management bit I do. It sets a session cookie and then sends you back to either your home page or the page that you called from so that I can just hand out a URL and people get back to it eventually after they've logged in. If you fail, we sleep for three seconds for security reasons, we record the failure, and we send you back to the login page. If you fail five times, then we lock you out for 20 minutes to keep people from brute forcing it. All pages that you want protected by your login uh, need to check that session cookie. For auditing purposes, I talk a little bit about using Mojo Log to record all the, um, uh, the successes and failures. You also want to add in a, uh, a link in your template. You want a template to send people to your logout page so that they can get out of the application safely. They can be secure, and, and you want that kind of in your menu. And I throw in some tests to try and help you um, assure yourself that it's working the way you think it should. Right. I use this to, um, as a sandbox so that I can test out new features. The next thing on my list is OAuth 2 because I want to integrate it with our university's single sign-on system. If you think it's cool and you want to hack on it, um, there's several ideas, some of which are rewrite the tutorial, uh, turn it into a code review and look at it line by line. Or if you like the code, or well, if you like the bits of code, use, take the useful code and extract it out into its own module so that you can just drop it into your controller and uh, whatever you need to uh, add session management to. Or even better, you can go to Mojo X Auth Simple and just rewrite it so that it does LDAP and tell me about it, please. <laughs> then I'll rewrite the tutorial. Now, I also have a dream. Um, because this involves templates, layouts, routes, and controllers, and this is an awesome dream, is that Mojo Generate Session App would do it all for you. I, I, I know it's unsettling. <laughs> so, um, there are other modules out there, and I've listed them on the, the talk at the website. Um, let's see, I will rewrite the tutorial if you tell me how to make it better. So you don't have to do the work, just, just say, no, no, do it like this, I'll do that. Uh, I will be around on Saturday, uh, so if you have something on authentication or tutorials, I'll be happy to join you or you can join me, and that's it. Thank you. Fine. Thank you.